Hello and welcome back to All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host and my guest is Malia Cohen, who is the current chair of the State Board of Equalization. And most of all, she is a candidate for the California State Controller. And that is the person that we want to take a good look at because that role is so important and in my view i've already endorsed her All she right. is thank <laughs> the you. best thank person you. qualified you're in good company All we, right. we, we just rolled out a, uh, the endorsement of vice president kamala harris just just a few days ago you mean my cousin is supporting you too yes all right yes. the vice president <laughs> is supporting her yeah uh we always kid each other um she calls me her cousin and i call her my cousin <laughs> I'm proud to say that. Yeah, yeah, I can <laughs> but, see that. But uh, let's talk for a moment about reproductive freedoms. Yes. How, how does that How does play? that all intersect? Yeah. Well, uh, on the ballot, uh, voters are going to be taking up an issue called Pro uh, Proposition 1, and I do hope that they support Proposition it. Proposition 1. Proposition 1 will codify, and that's a fancy word to say, make it the law in the state of California that a woman will always have access to information and access to uh, reproductive um, contracept contraceptives as well as an abortion. So unlike what happened, and this is a response to what happened when the Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade. Roe v. Now Wade. the controller intersects with this very important policy mm -hmm. because these are tax dollars that are paying for the service, the same way that we pay for services for seniors to go to, to, to receive clinics. So we pay for reproductive services, we, is that we, right? Those are tax dollars that go into reproductive service, and my job would keep track of where those dollars are going mm. and how they're being spent. Mm. So if Proposition 1 passes, then uh, that codifies the law in California. Yes, that's right. And so no matter what the Supreme Court or any other you got it. No political matter, court exactly. decides. Exactly. And, and this is important because what's happening when you look at the politics across the nation is, is that the Republicans, particularly Mitch McConnell, mm -hmm. is looking to put a universal ban that would restrict a state's ability to do this. And so uh, we want to respond in the affirmative to protect a woman's right to choose, to protect the um, family's right to choose what's best for them. And so this is our response, the state of California, the legislature, the governor, this is our collective response to protect that right. Now what role, if any, does the controller play in climate uh, control mm -hmm. actions? Yeah, so when you were talking about climate control, the controller plays a couple different ways. So okay. many people think about the controller as a fiduciary and she yes. is one she's yes. she's a she's a trustee on on CalPERS and CalSTRS which are the world's largest pension funds and and as a member of this body the pension funds is you take uh, you pull money hundreds of billions of dollars and you invest it and so making sure that the investment committee um, is investing it wisely that we are not uh, investing um, in fossil fuel if that is the position that we're taking so the other element is the controller also sits on the state lands commission and the state lands commission is responsible for ensuring that we are stewards of the coastal uh, mm -hmm. coastal uh, bodies um, and, um, and and the waters and the ports and so making sure that not only a business and commerce are flowing um, fluidly mm -hmm. but also paying attention to um, the you know you might recall uh, last year around Santa Barbara and, and Long Beach area in Southern California oil rigs yes. breaking and, yes. and 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 and, um, and our response to that all these have an impact on the climate on the very fragile ecosystems that um, that are on land and on sea and so the controller does uh, vote and have a say on on the policy and and you know honestly you know money makes the world go around <laughs> I, I like mean that. Which, Money makes the world go it around. It does. It does make the world go around. And when you're the fourth largest economy in the world, you know, we have the ability to um, make a statement and to shape policy and to influence not only other people, but also other governments. And so it is a very important role that the controller plays in this space. What about health care? What about health care? So tax dollars, anything, anywhere that there is a tax dollar being spent, the controller has her hand on. Mm. So when we're talking about these community clinics, when you think yes, about yes. think about the pandemic, right? Yes. Think about um, the, um, the the PPE that people needed, the personal, oh, yeah. the private <laughs> protection equipment. Um, these are all tax dollars. These were uh, contracts um, that were purchased and vendors that have contracted with the state of California. And so making sure that we are 
the, the, the money is spent wisely. So you oversee all of that. Yes, Your sir. office will oversee all that's right. of that. All of that spending. To make certain that it's done properly. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, efficiently. And again, when we talked about equity, mm -hmm. making sure that the African American and Latino communities that were disproportionately touched by pandemic, by high COVID numbers, yes. uh, making sure that the um, vaccination reached these communities, seniors, and you think about the senior centers, mm -hmm. all of these all of these are funded by there's a, a combination of private dollars, of course, local dollars, but also state dollars. And that is why the controller's office touches people's lives and, 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 and every, and, and in a little um, intimate ways, but important ways. The controller's office touches <clears throat> everybody's life yep. in one way or the other. So that is so important why when we cast our vote, we ought to cast it for a person who fully understands the importance uh, of this and, and will do the right thing. And we can count on you to do the right thing because you know what the right thing is mm -hmm. to do. So don't touch that remote. We will be right back with All About Community again. My name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host, and my guest is Malia Coyne, who is chair of the State Board of Equalization, and most of all, she is the candidate for the for the controller's office right here in the state of California. And the vote is November 8th. Now you know the way to vote.